Well, ever since she was a kitten, I had to kind of take her on walks, you know, because I didn't want her to be just trapped indoors all the time. Um, and so I, I taught her to go on walks and, you know, took her to the beach and on trains and stuff for um, three and a half years or so. And then uh, um, I was made redundant at work, and so I was riding my bike a lot. And since she was already quite familiar with going out on the leash, I thought, why don't I try and take her on a bike ride? So, so yeah, I put her in a put her in a basket, and she took right to it. She enjoyed it. We have done. We have a Strava account, so I can actually look it up. But I believe it's it's about 1,600 miles. Uh, she's a Norwegian forest cat. Well, she's very uh, curious, certainly. I guess most cats probably are. <laughs> um, and she's very, I guess, unbothered by most things. Um, she's not afraid of things. She's not uh, shy or ever nervous about things. She's always just very, very curious and very bold. Um, probably too much so. I mean, I, I could never let her outside on her own because she's just completely unafraid of dogs and traffic and stuff, so that would be a problem, but. <laughs> uh, well, her name is Sigrid. Um, so she's a Norwegian forest cat, and Sigrid is an Old Norse name, so it kind of kind of goes together. Um, backstory, uh, I don't know, I, I wanted a Norwegian forest cat. Um, my father's side of the family uh, immigrated to the United States from Norway, and so I had uh, done some genealogy research and, and flew to Norway and like uh, uh, discovered like a lost branch of the family and stuff. And so um, I kind of got it into my head that I wanted a Norwegian forest cat, and so eventually I, I got one and just immediately loved her. <laughs> She's actually not really food motivated. Um, she tends to, she's, she's very, very picky, and when she does eat, she just eats a little bit at a time. She really loves the other cat that we have, and she's really sweet to her, but she's she's pretty uh, pretty vicious to every other animal she runs across, so yeah, she's, she's probably pretty territorial. Um, the few times we've had a stray cat kind of come up to the window, she's, de she's definitely like gone on the attack, you know, and scared them off. I mean, certainly the most popular thing, and what I think is funniest is just the way that she hates dogs and, and hisses at them, you know, as much as she possibly can. Um, the drive-by hissing is the funniest when the dog's not even paying attention and we're just cycling by and, and Siggy has to throw a hiss as we go by. It's, it's very ridiculous, I think. She's just very committed to hating dogs. <laughs>Well, she's deaf, uh, I don't know if you're aware. Uh, so white cats that have two blue eyes are between 60 and 80% of them go deaf. Um, so she is, she is deaf, which you know, probably makes her a little braver than, than the average cat. White cats, there's a chart somewhere, but if it's, it's a white cat, it's something like 40% of them are deaf. And then if they have one blue eye, it goes up a little bit and they have both blue eyes, then most of them are deaf, yeah. So it's quite, quite interesting.